Continuing on with our top 10 war film series, we're moving on to the 1860s to look at the 10 best films depicting the American Civil War. Bear in mind we are solely focusing on theatrical movies for this list, so television shows and films like Andersonville and North and South won't be featured. Number 10, The Red Badge of Courage. What state are you fellas from? We are from Tennessee. How about y'all? We're from Ohio. Adapted from Stephen Crane's definitive Civil War novella, director John Huston's visually striking battlefield drama stars Audie Murphy as a Union private desperate to prove he is no coward after deserting his regiment. Houston's darker, longer edit was notoriously cut to ribbons by MGM, and admittedly the 69 minute cut is still heavily flawed, but it's worked its way up the ranks as a pure classic. How do you think the regiment will do? Oh, they'll fight all right once they get into it. We'll be on them like wildcats, they won't know what hit them. Think any of the boys will run? There may be a few of them run, but there's them kind in every regiment. Number 9, Shenandoah. Shenandoah focuses on the life of James Stewart who owns a farm in Virginia during the Civil War, when he and his family are faced with a dilemma in which side to support since he is opposed to slavery and does not see the value in war to begin with. The family is eventually drawn into the conflict when one of Stewart's sons is taken prisoner by the Union Army. Number 8, The Outlaw Josie Wales. Why, you're gonna pull those pistols and whistle Dixie. Clint Eastwood directs and stars in this Civil War Western playing a Missouri farmer who joins a Confederate guerrilla group after his family is murdered by Union militias. Many of the greatest Westerns are set right alongside the events of the Civil War with the trend of so-called revisionist Westerns using the wartime themes to great use. These films differed from the most heroic Westerns of the past by highlighting the loose morals of even the heroes of the time. Number 7, Lincoln. Daniel Day-Lewis won an Academy Award for his incredible depiction of Abraham Lincoln in Spielberg's historical epic, which deftly unravels the president's manoeuvres to push through the emancipation of slaves at the end of the Civil War. Whilst more of a political drama than a war film, Lincoln features a spectacular recreation of the battlefield at Petersburg. We've won the war. Now, you have to lead us out of it. Number 6, The General. The Civil War wasn't the best of settings for a comedy, but leave it to a comic genius like Buster Keaton to show that laughter can be found in all kinds of places. This hilarious and thrilling silent film follows an engineer pursuing a Union soldier who stole his train. The general features some of the most impressive stunt sequences ever put on film, and whilst the film wasn't all that well received back in its day, nowadays we have grown to appreciate it for the incredible pick that it is. Number 5, Dancers with Wolves. And they sent you here to be posted? Actually, sir, I'm here at my own request. Really? Why? I've always wanted to see the frontier. Whilst only the opening sequence generally focuses on the war itself, the Civil War still plays a background role in the themes throughout the entirety of the film. Kevin Costner plays a Union lieutenant who gets posted on the remote frontier where he ends up developing a strong relationship with the First Nation natives. When Union soldiers arrive to claim the land, he's left to decide whether to fight alongside his soldiers or to protect the tribe. Number four, Gettysburg. Oh, one other thing. Hooker's been replaced. George Meade's the new commander. Harrison read it in the Yankee papers. George Meade? Pennsylvania man. Meade would be cautious, I think. Director Ronald Maxwell's adaptation about the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg is an informative and cinematic epic spanning more than four hours. The huge ensemble cast includes Martin Sheen, Jeff Daniels and Tom Berenger against the backdrop of the deadliest battle ever to take place on American soil. A battle that was largely seen as the turning point in the Civil War, and it's hard not to applaud the epic telling of this very significant encounter. Number 3, Gone with the Wind. 
Gone with the Wind is the movie that proved Hollywood epics could be a big part of filmmaking. The epic romance centres around a strong-willed daughter of a plantation owner in the South during the war. Despite its troubled production, the film would become an enormous hit, and remains one of the most successful movies of all time. Whilst the film's depiction of the time causes some criticism such as the soft depiction of slavery, the immense scope is still a marvel of filmmaking to this day. I want to feel your arms around him. I want to carry the memory of your kisses into battle with him. Never mind about loving me. You're a woman sending a soldier to his death with a beautiful memory. Number 2. The Good, the Bad and the Ugly In regards to the film itself, this would typically be my number one pick, easily standing as my all-time favourite film. And whilst the war is a main theme throughout, it's not always the central point of focus, and therefore we didn't deem it to be technically the best Civil War movie, hence it only taking second place. Nonetheless, this is one of, if not, the very best western, and it is also an amazing Civil War film. This spaghetti western follows three very different men, all in search of a buried gold as the Civil War rages around them, and the setting of the war only adds to the chaos of the movie. Before we reveal our number one film, here are some honourable mentions that just missed the list. The Beguiled. Why should I have denied myself after all I'd been through? You want to be so much the goddamn lady. How the West Was Won. You wanted a war, mister, and you got one. I hope you're the first man killed in it. Turn those wagons over! The Horse Soldiers. <laughs> Cold Mountain. Number 1. Glory Glory pays overdue tribute to the 37,000 African Americans who died fighting for the Union cause, but at the same time it doesn't shy away from showing the racism and inequality that existed in the ranks. Glory is a gut-wrenching portrait of why these men were so willing to fight in this war. It's also a film willing to show the brutality of the war in an uncompromised fashion. So full of hate you just want to go out and fight everybody. Because you've been whipped and chased by hounds. Well, that might not be living, but it sure as hell ain't dying. And dying is what these white boys have been doing for going on three years now. Dying by the thousands. Dying for you, fool. Thank you for watching. Have your own opinions? Leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for new content every week.